There were most likely 12 combat aircraft of the Russian Air Force at the Kanskaya airfield in Adige that was attacked on the night of October the 9th to the 10th, although it is difficult to say what model they were. This is reported by Defense Express. Recall, drones attacked the Kanskaya military airfield in the Russia's Republic of Adige. The airfield is located near the village of Kanskaya, close to the region's capital city of Maykop. Residents said that drones attacked the airbase Astra reported. According to NASA's fire monitoring program, a fire was recorded at the site following the attack. The Kanskaya airfield is home to Russia's 272nd Training Aviation Regiment, according to Astra. Ukraine has carried out a number of strikes against airbases in an effort to weaken the more powerful Russian Air Force and curb Moscow's ability to launch devastating aerial attacks against Ukrainian cities. According to Defense Express, the first thing that analysts noted was that the Russian side is trying to present this airfield as a training ground for the military school. The airfield is mentioned as the 272nd Training Air Base, which is the airfield of the Krasnodar Aviation School. At the same time, the real current purpose of this facility is a military airfield. This is indicated by publicly available satellite images from ESA, the material says. Experts noted that even despite the low resolution of satellite images, one can still see the difference between combat aircraft and training aircraft. The fact is that the dimensions of Russian combat aircraft such as the Su-30, Su-34 and Su-35 are very different from the dimensions of the L-39 trainers. Moreover, most Russian fighters and frontline bombers have blue camouflage and on the satellite image for October the 6th, 12 such aircraft were spotted at the airbase, which exactly corresponds to the standard number of tactical aviation squadron. The Defense Express article says, Analysts were unable to clearly indicate which aircraft were being discussed, but they are convinced that higher quality satellite images should appear in the near future, which will allow them to assess the real scale of the damage. In addition, according to experts, the fact that the strike managed to hit something quite important, such as an ammunition depot, is evidenced by the fact that the evacuation of residents of the village of Rodnikovoy, which is located next to the airbase, is underway. The head of Russia's foreign intelligence agency, Sergei Narishkin, has claimed that the Crimean Bridge remains a high priority for Ukraine in its attacks on the peninsula using Western weapons. Speaking at a meeting of the heads of CIS security agencies in Astana, Kazakhstan, Narishin noted that the bridge, which connects the peninsula to the Russian mainland and has repeatedly come under Ukrainian attack, is likely to be targeted by British-supplied Storm Shadow missiles. He also pointed out that Ukraine has been using other Western-supplied weapon systems to attack the peninsula, such as when Kiev's troops used American-made ATACMS missiles in June, killing four people, including two children, and injuring over 150 at a beach in Sevastopol. Narishkin went on to recall that CIA Director William Burns had previously told the U.S. Senate Intelligence Committee that Washington's military aid to Ukraine is meant to enable Kiev to inflict tangible damage on Russia, which includes penetrating strikes on Crimea. Burns thus voiced the old Anglo-Saxon maxim to cut off Russia's access to the warm sea at all costs. Narishkin said, Earlier this year, Ukraine's Volodymyr Zelensky admitted that Kiev really wants to destroy the bridge, as well as other Russian infrastructure. Since the outbreak of the Ukraine conflict in 2022, the bridge has been targeted with missiles and naval drones on numerous occasions, but most of the attacks were repelled. However, in October 2022, a blast caused by an explosive-laden truck managed to inflict extensive damage to the bridge and took the lives of three people. In July 2023, a drone boat attack also damaged the structure. Ukraine has called for an international tribunal to order Russia to dismantle the Kirsch Bridge or the Crimean Bridge, connecting the temporarily occupied peninsula with mainland Russia as part of its efforts to restore free navigation across the Kirsch Strait. The request was made during oral hearings at the Arbitration Tribunal in The Hague. Occupied Crimea functions as Russia's military base 
acting as a springboard for Russia's offensive into Ukraine's southern mainland, consolidating Russian forces and enhancing operational capabilities. Between 2017 and 2020, Russia constructed the Kirsch Road and railway bridges linking its Taman Peninsula to occupied Crimea to secure a vital logistics route to the occupied territory. Oksana Zolotaryova, deputy agent of Ukraine, emphasized in her final speech that dismantling the bridge is the only way to restore passage for ships from all countries that have used the strait in the past and ships that will use the strait in the future. Russia is a signatory to the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea. Zola Taryova stressed that merely telling Russia it is violating international law is insufficient. She urged the tribunal to order Russia to cease its illegal actions, provide guarantees against future violations, and eliminate the consequences of its unlawful activities. This includes returning and revoking registration of illegally seized Ukrainian drilling rigs in the Black Sea.